Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing this look which is inspired by Sonam Kapoor. She wore it uh, like on her second outing to the red carpet. She wore this with an Anamika Khanna sari which oh my god, you know, uh, again I like I will tell you in the end of the video as well. I was just, you know, going through Instagram and Namrata Soni, her makeup artist, like photo comes up and I'm just like oh my god, this is pure perfection. I was love struck by what she was wearing and the makeup and stuff. So I'm like, on day one I was a little like yeah normal makeup old school but on day two she was looking at really really glamorous I really liked what she was wearing so yes if you want to know how to do this then please keep on watching the first thing that I'm going to be using today is going to be the color bars triple act compact um, I've almost hit the pan with this it's like a three-in-one foundation it says it conceals it um, has SPF and something else I don't even remember what it is supposed to be and I'm in the shade 005 fawn uh, every product information would also be in the bottom bar so make sure to check that out so I'm just gonna apply a uh, triple act compact with the help of my real techniques buffing brush Next up I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to be using Starlux uh, eyebrow kit and uh, she has like, uh, I don't know, they're not very strong, they're not very light, like just the perfect brows. So I'm going to be using this uh, eyebrow kit from Starlux to get mine and I am uh, using Real Techniques eyebrow brush so I'm just going to set like get into my brows and fill them in. that I'm going to be using today is this one this is by Victoria Jackson um, right here Victoria Jackson and it has gorgeous colors the shade that this is is uh, oh, the shade that this is in is peach color collection by Victoria Jackson it looks like this has gorgeous colors so I'm just going to start with my contouring first uh, she has like very soft contour like they're sharp her features are sharp already so contouring is kept soft so I'm taking this contouring shade right here with the help of a pointed foundation brush yeah I use my foundation brushes for contouring because they give you like a very sharp contouring feature so I'm just going to pick the color up on this shade and I'm uh, I'm just going to pick the color up on this brush and I'm going to contour my cheekbones You want to keep the shade like you want to blend it really well so that it doesn't you know stand out like whoa blending you know so you want to keep blend really well and the contouring shouldn't be like you know prominent that it's there it should be very very natural and you know very sublime so I'm just going to do the other side now. remaining on the brush I'm gonna contour my nose up a little next up I'm gonna use the blush from this palette only it's like really soft pretty pink and that's kind of color that she has on there's a perfect palette for this look like not properly perfect but almost perfect so I'm just gonna use uh, this uh, shade itself and these colors are really really pigmented Victoria Jackson is a great company so uh, uh, really pigmented here yeah, coming back really pigmented so you want to pick up a little bit and not much and just dust off the axis so you don't have like you know clown cheeks so I'm just gonna put that as my blush I 
to the face makeup now I will do one of the eye and then I'll return to show you how to do the other eye so the first shade that I'm going to be using is again going to be from this palette only and it's going to be this one you want to take a shade that is two to three tones darker than yours I'm going to take it up on a deluxe crease brush by real techniques and I'm going to place it in my uh, you know uh, crease and be blending it a little upwards and a little downwards both take a black eyeshadow I'm taking Inglot uh, shade number 63 with the help of this uh, base shadow brush by Real Techniques and you want to take any black eyeshadow that you want but you don't want to apply a base first because she doesn't have like a jet black uh, you know eyeshadow it's a kind of diffused eyeshadow if you know what I mean so I'm just going to take it up on this brush and I'm going to apply it all over my lid left on the brush I'm just going to run it along my lower lash line again you don't want to pick up more because you want it to be more diffused black I'm going to pick up uh, the uh, deluxe crease brush again and I'm going to blend this black and brown together a wet and wild color icon and I'm just going to line my waterline very neatly I'm not going to take it below because her liner is you know identifiable like separately and I'm also going to uh, tight line my upper lash line apply uh, you know false lashes I hate them but still you have to so yeah you can't run away from something that you have to so I'll just anywho go ahead just apply them and hope that they don't ruin my look as they generally do so I'm just gonna try and apply them got to do one step you're gonna take an eyeshadow that is either your skin tone or is light tone lighter than it and on a accent brush I'm just going to pick it up and put it like just below the highest point of my eyebrow to kind of highlight all the shades are matte so do remember that all the shades have to be matte now I'm going to do my lips. Her lips are like a brownish nude shade which is kind of matte glossy like semi matte semi glossy. So I'm going to pick up the, so I'm going to pick up this shade right here which looks like you know has purplish undertones but it doesn't like camera why you do this. So I'm going to pick up that with a pixel pointer liner brush which I don't like for lining but for lip brush it's a really nice one. I just figured it out uh, so you know. So I'm going to pick up this shade and I'm just going to apply it uh, on my lips. apply mascara I'm using Maybelline hyper curl volume express and just kind of touching up my lashes one last step that you can do is that you want to take your black eyeshadow just a little bit of it and just run over your lashes if there is some glue that is visible I could see some so I'm just like no chances and yeah with that we finished the Sonam Kapoor Khan 2014 inspired look. I also saw Ashwarya's look in oh my god. You know, I was just like randomly scrolling through Instagram and I'm just like <gasps> she's looking so beautiful. Like for the first time I was just so blown away by her look. Like I generally don't like you know her makeup much. Like I do, but I don't. You get it, right? But she was looking so so amazeballs so I was just like you know um, let me know if you want to see that look as well I am thinking to do it so 
still let me know if you want to see that and yes i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did then please rate comment and subscribe all uh, the link like all the information would be in the bottom bar as well as links to my instagram twitter facebook page and anything else and everything else so yes make sure to open that up follow me subscribe whatever you want to like to do comment rate bleep so yes i will see you guys on monday till then take care bye